we need to make our wing sauce. And to do that, here comes the din jang. Okay? Mmm, you can smell it from here. The exact measurements will be on my blog post, which will be up in a day or so. So there's our den jang. Okay, I'm going to be working with about four pounds. Okay, I'm going to be working with about four pounds of bird. So I want enough sauce to coat and I want enough sauce for leftovers, for dipping. Okay, in goes the chili. You can use as much as you want. Okay, this is sambal sauce. This is a combination of garlic to chili with the seeds. Okay, that goes in. Okay. In goes molasses. This is where the sticky nature comes in. Okay. Now, a lot of recipes use rice vinegar. I'm not going to use rice vinegar because the molasses is sugar based. I'm going to use a little bit of cane sugar from the Philippines. Just about a tablespoon. And a little sesame oil. Just about a tablespoon. And I'm going to whisk this all together. Okay, This is going to take a couple of minutes for me to get it into the consistency I want. So I'm going to whisk and then I'll be right back for the final ingredient. Alright guys. There's our chicken wing sauce right there. See how thick that is? Now I'm going to thin it out a little bit because the wings that I'm going to be using have been dusted with flour. So the sugary, sticky nature of this sauce will make sure it sticks. And here comes the final ingredient. About three fingers of Kentucky bourbon. And I'm going to whisk this in there gently until it all gets mixed together. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. There it is. The sauce is done. It's pungent, it's salty, it's hot from the chili, it's sweet from the molasses, and it's got a nice smoky undercut from the bourbon. The sugar from the cane sugar, uh, the cane syrup, the uh, cane vinegar, and the sugar from the whiskey, okay, as well as the sugar from the molasses will help this sauce to caramelize on the chicken. So, I'm going to get my dusted wings together and we're going to start dipping and cooking. Okay guys, let's do some chicken wings. We're going to do these in small batches, okay? Here I have some lightly floured chicken wings and drumettes. I'd probably do about 10 at a time, maybe 12, okay? Small amount, okay? Working in batches, okay? Then. I'm going to spoon over a little bit of that sauce, okay? The flour is going to help this sauce to stick, okay? That should cut. And we mix it by hand, okay? You can see it sticking to the wings already. Oh my God, this is going to be so good. That's it. Coated and sticking quite nicely, I might add. All right, okay? Eh? sticking to it quite well, okay? I can add more sauce if I want, and I think I want. Ta -da. So, let's get a little in there. I know the bowl is moving. All right, there they are. I'm gonna put these on a baking sheet so you can see what it looks like, and then we're gonna get cooking. Okay guys, there they are. One baking sheet full of these chicken wings. Denjang. Molasses, chili, bourbon, sesame oil. It's going to be delicious. These are going to go into a 400 degree preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And then they're going to get turned over for another 10 to 15. So I'll see you in about 20 or 25 minutes. You know, guys, Memorial Day weekend is something that comes around once a year and we all take advantage of it. It's a three day weekend. We all like to relax and have a good time, be with friends, be with family. Okay. But a lot of the times, a lot of people forget that Memorial Day is just more than a three-day weekend. So I would just like to have a kind reminder 
that Memorial Day is a day in which you should at least spend a couple of minutes reflecting on all of those that came before us and have fallen for us. So on this Memorial Day 2012, I'd like to raise my glass and I'd like to have you raise your glass or whatever it is that you have. Okay, I'd like to raise my glass in memory of all of those that came before me and all of those that have fallen so that I could have what it is I have in my life. Happy Memorial Day. God bless all of those. Cheers. Okay guys, so here they are, all right? They're nice and caramelized on top, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn them. See all that crispiness on the edges? Oh, this is gonna be so good. See how crispy it's gotten, okay? Now I'm gonna turn them over and put them back in the oven for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So just hang on tight while I turn these over and we'll be done really soon. Okay guys. There we go, okay? Denjang molasses chili bourbon chicken wings baked, not fried. You look at all that lovely caramelization going on. So now we're gonna make them even stickier. And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna take a little bit of molasses, a little bit more molasses, and we're gonna drizzle it on top of these babies, okay? Just a little bit more, okay? Oh yeah. Sticky wings. Finger licking good. Nothing better on Memorial Day weekend. There we go. Little bit of molasses. There we go. Sticky wings. Everybody get a plate like that. And then to boot. Top it off with some crushed sesame seeds. Give it that little extra crunch. And there we are. 